Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Pop. I have this uh, Toshiba A10, the A10, and uh, it just turned off. And I think it was getting a little hot here, eh? so I saw that uh, the fan was here, so I just removed these screws, three screws. But it shut, it just shut off, you know. And I think that there's a lot of dust up there, so I'm gonna remove these screws here. This is one, this is two. Let's see, we can take this out now. Okay, and this looks good. How about here? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh man, this whole thing is full with dust. How can we remove this? This is, this is cooling the processor. Four screws. One. Three. and four now you can take this off and this just sits on the processor so we're gonna lift it up here oh man and look do you see these are the filters and they are all stuck so how to clean this well it's not so hard to clean this let's go to the kitchen you know the problem with these kinds of filters are as soon as this gets stuck and you can see they, is, they, they try to clean it, but they still, look, look, look here. You see that? There's a big piece of dust coming out here. You see that? Look here. And that's why the guy sold it so, so cheap. And if I would not clean this, then And the machine might break. Eh? Take a little brush. Let me just clean the dust as much as possible. Okay, I think it's clean. It looks uh, all new again. So let's put her back in. She looks all good now. This should do it. Okay, we just cleaned the baby. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put her back. Shouldn't be so hard. Can only go in one way. Okay, you just fit this on the processor. Always cool to use a magnetic screwdriver. Don't tie them up too hard yet. Make sure you put all the four screws before you start putting all that pressure on the thing. It's not a car, remember? It's just a computer. And I, I, I heard the thing was blowing and blowing. It was blowing.
blowing all the time. And most of the time then it means that the thing is not getting cooled. There's no cooling. So this this sits nice I think. little pins that should fall into the hole that means the copper is sitting on the right place on the, on the thingy okay now we have to look at the fan this is the fan that will bring air into the baby okay these were the screws of the fan this is one this is number two and this is really cool of Toshiba that they made it this way so you know we can like <coughs> easily clean the fan so that was it so this goes up here we have the long screw one you hear that <laughs> it's turning out turning on out of itself it's already realizing that getting enough air now you can breathe again so all the screws looks okay it's blowing much quieter now it's very quiet now and let's stick in the USB okay some power. See that it turned off but that's because the battery is empty. That's why it turned off. Not for another reason. So don't start laughing there. So there you go. The battery was a little bit empty. So now it will turn on and now it will not turn off again. And I can probably even let you hear some some music. Also got my favorite player on it. It's starting up. Huh? I installed many updates already. So it's starting up without a problem now. And I will leave it on all night and then we will see what will happen. But it sounds much... See, the fan turned off now. It's cooling really nice. The air is not hot anymore that's coming out of the thing. 
So let's see. Let's connect to this baby here. So connecting. I think we just got rid of the problem and this problem happens with old laptops if you buy an old laptop you must always look at the bottom if it has a you know a hole up there most of the times the hole is filled up with a lot of this and you must also see when you buy a second hand laptop if uh, there is a way to get into the fan because for instance i have the eight the what is this, the the compact 6720s well let me tell you it's my dj machine but i'm really scared and i'm really really um using it in clean place places because i know that if the fan gets stuck or if the fan breaks i will have to you know lose the whole thing into little pieces and i won't be able to do that because that is not my thing you know this was really simple such as uh, some computers such as the Acer and the Toshiba and uh, there are some more they give you the the, uh, the possibility to get into the fan and then you know clean out the dust and let the thing run again so that's how to uh, fix your uh, A10 Toshiba Well, the thing has been, I left it on for the whole night and I let it play music, you know, and um, it's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning now, so this thing has been on for many hours and the breeze, the, 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 the air that is coming out of here, as you can hear, it's, it's running has been playing music with virtual DJ and uh, well I can't really play the music um, let me see up here you can get the virtual DJ as you can see this is the Toshiba the one that was running Mac that video still has to come on because this thing is can also be a Mac I didn't give it no Mac sticker though but um, the sound of this machine is really really outstanding I think it plays uh, really nice the quality is good By the way, I installed Windows 7 on this thing and it was a little tricky for you guys that also have this laptop. Uh, if you want to install Windows 7 on here, I uh, installed a special version, a light version. I made, I made one of my original versions. I, I created the light version, special for old PCs. But um, as you can see, um, <laughs> you don't see no video driver. But the video driver is running in the background this is really strange as you can see no video driver and um, as you can see everything else is installed and you can see no um, no how you call it no request marks of how you say that in english but you can see no video but the video was there and what did I do? I installed the drivers for Windows XP. This video card is the, what, what kind of is it? I think it's a 950 something from Intel. And this card is not supported anymore. Eh? I think I should have it here somewhere. So you see, it really helps. Eh? Taking all the dust out of the machines really helps. So take all the dust out of the machines and out of your life and live a little longer. Till my next video. Bye.